a great video hosting platform. What is some of the great content that's on the site? Somebody doing parodies of songs about Olga K. Now I've made my fair share of parodies, but they're on a variety of subjects, not just on one thing. If you make a channel solely dedicated to one thing, it will die out fast. I'm not talking about people who just make parodies or people who just make reviews. They're fine. But when somebody's content is that specific, like a channel solely dedicated to Minecraft parodies, it's gonna be old news. On the off chance that this guy may have some good videos, what do his parodies sound like? I'm pushing play. You know it's Olga. You better moosh. You better dance. Feel like a vid. You will remember. That's not singing. That's talking in a monotone voice to instrumentals. Let's see the full video. A parody of Timber by Pitbull. It'll be one. You won't forget. You know he's one of the best parodiers when he films in his mom's bathroom. I mean, look at that lotion. It's just a perfect set for a video. Ooh. She moves. It's like, it's like he doesn't even care about being on pitch. He needs to do this parody as fast as he can so Olga can give him a big ol' moosh. Look on YouTube, it's cat, it's fine. Not nah, shit's Olga looking so fine. It's like he's not even doing a parody anymore. He, he just gave up and decided to scream the words. I can't sing, but I love Olga. That's the most truthful thing this man will say. Also, if you say you can't sing, why create a channel that has the focus of singing. And if your excuse is that it's a parody and it's meant to be funny, that's some pure BS. If you're making a parody, the lyrics are what's supposed to be funny. I'm now thinking this man just looked up the word parody and made videos without even looking at any parody beforehand. Now we can see what this man has to offer in original songs, not parodies. His own genuine content. You are so cool to make merch like this buying spank is an opportunity i couldn't miss that's not an original song it's a parody of cities if you're gonna make a parody then list it in the title he he didn't even mention the song he's parodying in the description i die dancing around in these cool socks dancing around in these moosh rocks well anyways this is the quality content you get on YouTube. People making parodies about some YouTuber's socks. Olga, I wrote you a bass solo. You should probably stay away from writing your own bass solos and refer to the music sheets you have over there. Playing a few chords does not count as a bass solo, bruv. I love them so much I'll never take them all. When you make a parody, you should have rhythm. But this isn't rhythm. It's mother- Well shit. Make something else. You guys should remember the ALS ice bucket challenge. You put water and ice in a bucket to simulate the feeling of ALS so you get more knowledge on the suffering of the ALS people. A pretty good cause. So here's his video about the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge. Oh, Extreme Ice Bucket Challenge. E ex extreme Ice Bucket Challenge. I, I think there's something missing. The whole point of the challenge. ALS isn't mentioned in either the video or the description. He's just wanting to do something dumb. I don't want to be one of those tools who say, I hate my generation. But with the things this man is doing, it almost makes me want to. And, and that's not even extreme. It's getting a bucket full of water and having a hose pour it on your head. Now, if you want an example of a real extreme ALS ice bucket challenge, you should look at the one my dad did, where he has an entire wheelbarrow full of water and every ice cube in our fridge. Unfortunately, he deleted it, but you know what he did? He actually said to donate 
to ALS. All right, all right, all right, all right. Th th those are old videos. I'll cut the man some slack and look at his recent video about asking Jack's films to tell Oga K about him when he meets him in person. Let's see if he's changed. When we meet at Buffer Fest in Toronto, Jack, help me. Nope. The only thing that has changed is his haircut. You'd think after a year of doing parodies, something would have changed. But nope. The same damn thing he's been doing since day one. Look how gigantic my change was from a year ago to now. This isn't as good as the internet. <laughs> the Oogie Love and the Big Balloon Adventure. Say that a few times. Does it sound like a good name for a movie? No. It sounds like there's people on the drugs, on the weeds, on all the drugs. Get hyper. Now bad boy, are you ready for the base? My DJ, yo, get on the case. Are you trying to simulate having a seizure? <laughs> and look how minuscule his change was from a year ago till now. I'm pushing play. You know it's Olga. You better move. You better dance. When we meet. At Buffer Fest in Toronto, Jack. It'll be one you won't forget. For Olga K, I've made 16 videos. Jack, help me. You actually have to change your content a little bit up from a year ago because your first content isn't gonna be good. If you're making the same content you did when you first started, it isn't gonna be good. I asked Rat and Link to tell Olga about me, but they did not. The best types of parodies are when the lyrics are similar to the original content, but give a different meaning once you change it. Obviously, he knows nothing about parody making because he's done the exact opposite of that. So you can call him cute, you can say I'm jealous, but put those words into your mouth, because the words that are going out of my mouth are saying that he's a very dumb parody maker that's somehow able to get 130 subscribers. Everything you know is wrong, black and white.